Chloe and Nava and this is our new series Ocean Watch where we get to learn all about marine life. On this episode of Ocean Watch we're going to be exploring whales. Here are five fun facts about whales that you might not already know. Fact number one, the hippopotamus is the whale's closest living relative. Who knew they look nothing alike? Fact number two, Whales slap their tails, also called flukes, against the water to scare away smaller fish while they hunt. Fact number three. Humpback whales, blue whales, and mink whales don't have teeth. They are called filter feeders, and that means they filter food through their special teeth called baleens. Fact number four. Whales are the largest living mammals on Earth, particularly the blue whale. Look at how big that whale is compared to a basketball court. Alrighty, and for our fifth and final fact, did you know blue whales like dolphins have been known to save humans from sharks? Who knew? This is a picture of a blue whale saving a woman from a great white shark. You can't see him in the picture, but he's definitely there. Okay, all this talk about whales is kind of making me want to draw one, so why don't we? Alright, so I'm just going to start by sketching out the basic shape of a whale and I am doing mine a little more cartoony because I just find it looks better um, with the way I draw. So I'm just going to start by doing like a rounded shape with that comes to a point and that's where my tail is going to sit and I'm going to just keep going, keep correcting, keep sketching until I'm happy with the shape. And now really quickly I'm going to add a tail and connect those lines. So I just traced my shape with a thick black sharpie and now I'm going to add the facial features, experimenting where I want them to go, um, and erasing. And once I find the perfect spots, I'm going to trace them with a thin black sharpie and then I'll clean up everything and erase them. Now that I'm happy with the coloring job on her, I'm going to add rosy cheeks and the fin and just touch up everything else too. Alright, so for those of you wondering why she has a rainbow explosion out of her blowhole, take a look at this clip. You know, I'm looking at this and I think I should add these little polka dots, like water droplets everywhere because it's super cute and I'm really happy with how this one looks so let's give her a friend. Alright, I'm just going to jump right in without talking but that's me dropping my marker so I just thought I should say that. I'm super happy with how our friends here came out, and I hope you guys had fun drawing them with me. We all love whales, right? But whales face many threats each day, and here are a few of them. Number one, noise pollution. When ships are out on the water looking for oil or gas, they tow devices called air guns. They shoot pulses of sound down to the ocean floor. The sound blast can damage the ears of whales and cause serious injuries. Here's how you can help. For those of you who own boats, when you go into areas with whales, turn off your fish finder app so you don't mess up their sonar. Number two, fishing nets. Whales get stuck in fishing nets all the time, and most of the time, we don't notice they're there until it's too late. Here's how you can help. If you do any recreational fishing in areas where dolphins or whales might be found, it's always important to pull your line up if they approach the boat, and to never feed these wild creatures. If they become very used to fishing boats, this puts them in danger of getting entangled in nets or fishing lines, or even swallowing a fish with a hook in it. Ouch. Number three, plastic pollution. Every year, millions of tons of plastic enters the ocean from around the world. So this plastic can take extraordinarily long to break down. When plastic breaks down, they create tiny particles called microplastic, making their way into the food chain and are eventually eaten by whales. There are many ways to help with this problem. For example, you can use reusable containers and water bottles and don't buy plastic objects unless you absolutely need to. For more information about how we can help protect our local marine life, you can check out our friends at Saving Ocean Wildlife. 
Thank you guys so much for watching and we will see you next time on Ocean Watch.